What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Presidential Commander channel. I'm Darren. I'm Leah. I'm Ambrielle. <laughs> and I'm Azariah. <laughs> and this is Commander, the star, star of the show. show. <laughs> and today's video is called Naming Your Presa Canario or Picking a Name for Your Presa Canario. We wanted to do a video like this because when we're in the Presa Canario groups online, you know, we see so many people say, I need a cool name. What should I name my Presa Canario? And like, 200 some names go up in there, suggestions and uh and we just kind of put together a list of ones that we like you know I, one thing about the press canero you always find people naming them after you know tough things cool things rugged things um you know just really cool names and uh and i know that coming up with a name for your dog is sometimes a challenge i picked out commander's name and, um, you know, both kids were named by her. So, like, literally <laughs> that country song that says, you know, she names the kids, I name the dogs. That's literally how it happens <laughs> in our family. So, and you can't just name your press of Fluffy, right? But, I mean, you could name it Fluffy. And no offense if your press's name is Fluffy. But, uh, you know, I don't know. You know, we come up with some, some cool names. So, anyway, now there's some popular names out there, very popular uh, like I see uh, Zeus is a very popular name uh, shout out to Justin Roman who owns commander's brother and his name is Zeus So that's one of a crowd favorite names right there. What's another crowd favorite name? Khaleesi Khaleesi so commander's mom's name is Khaleesi and I'm starting to see that become more popular because everybody loves some Game of Thrones They love a little mother of dragons, right? So Khaleesi's another popular one. What else is out there? I think Bane is kind of popular. I see a lot of Bane press of Canaros and, and uh, that's a, a nice, strong, tough name. You know, one of the things that I would say uh, you can do is consider the meaning behind the name. You know, so um, I, I really get attracted to names that have like a background or an origin or they're associated or synonymous with something else. And, uh, and that's always creative. You know, another thing you can do is break it down by category. So I'm gonna give you an example of what I mean because when you really wanna just jog your brain and your memory and start to think outside the box for a name for your press of Canario, you can use like categories. So what's some examples of categories that we came up with? Warriors. So warriors, that's a good suggestion. Name your press of Canario after some warriors. So you can look at fictional warriors, real warriors, you know, whatever. Monsters. Monsters. These guys are big monsters. They are big monsters. That's another thing. Okay, what else? Military and powerful titles. Huh, like commander. You know? All right, what else you got? Hero and villain. So hero or villain. This could be like comic book, television, uh, video game. Greek gods. Okay, that's another one. Greek gods. We talked about Zeus earlier. But then I've seen presses named like Hades. I've seen presses named like uh, Athena. And uh, so Greek gods is very popular. Mythology. What else? Cities. Cities. Commander's dad. Named after a city. Cairo. You know? So if you can think of a city. Tokyo. Uh, Tokyo. Somewhere you visited before. Something like that. Those are cool. What else? Mountains and volcanoes. We're coming back to that in a second. All right, what else? TV and video games. TV and video games. You know, Who so likes care. video games? Me. This guy, <laughs> this guy. There's no limit to it. You can literally just think of a category and say, let me explore this whole thing, and you'll never run out of cool name ideas. So, all right, so we're going to give you guys a list of, let's start with the girl names. And if you hear snoring in the background, <laughs> that's definitely Commander. He's snoring. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to talk about some girl Presa Canario names that we thought were pretty cool. Maybe you want to name your Presa Canario after one of these names. Maybe you have a cool name, but uh, let's do this first, okay? So girl names, the list that we came up with that we thought was pretty cool. What's the first thing you got? Tambora. Tambora. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so Tambora is cool. Check this out. This is actually a volcano that was the most devastating eruption in world history. So... Obviously, a Presa Canario can cause some damage. It's tough. It's a tough name for a female uh, Presa Canario. Tambora. I mean, what, what, what? How could you not name a dog after the most powerful volcano in the world, right? Yeah. Thought that was pretty cool. So another female name we got here, Hemi. 
The reason why I like this name, and I thought this was pretty cool, is because another common name or another name that's popular or crowd favorite is Diesel. You know, you see a lot of male dogs named Diesel, and uh, it's associated with an engine. And I was like, what about Hemi? Mm -hmm. Like, a Hemi engine, man. I mean, remember Joe Dirt? You remember that movie? Kids don't really know about that, but that's how I learned about a Hemi. You know, I don't know. Joe Dirt really talked about a Hemi like it was everything, right? So I thought Hemi would be cool. So if you're in the cars or something like that, that's a cool name for a female dog. What else you got? Empress. So that goes back to that category of like titles and royalty, you know, so, you know, there's emperors and empresses. And uh, I think that is so cool for a female dog to be named Empress. So I think that's really cool. I haven't actually seen a Pressa with that name. Oh, Same you. thing with Hemi and Tambora. I actually haven't seen any Pressas so far with these names. If your Pressas name these things, let us know. Okay, what else you got? Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Oh, I love Valkyrie. Yeah, Valkyrie is just a cool name. Definitely a cool name. There's no question about it. Definitely a warrior, some type of battle angel or something like that. That's a sick name. I like Valkyrie. What else? Denali. Denali. I think that's a cool name because that's actually, and I didn't know this, when I think of Denali, I think of a vehicle, right? But the vehicle was actually named Denali after the mountain. One of the biggest, most beautiful mountains in the world is called Denali. So that would be a cool name for a female presser. What else? Devora. We, that's your favorite name? Devora. We got that from uh, Mortal Kombat video game. So there's actually a character named Devorah, it's spelled D apostrophe, I think that's what it's called, yeah, D apostrophe, V-O-R-A-H, okay? The name actually means B. So, uh, yeah, man, like a bumblebee. Mm -hmm. This is one that I haven't heard either for a press scenario, Calamity. I think that's so cool, Calamity, I, I, I don't know, that, it might just be me, you like that name? I think Calamity is a cool name for a, a Presa Canario uh, girl dog. I think that's a pretty cool name. Paired with a Presa Canario boy dog. Oh, Chaos and Calamity. You, you see what we did there? You see what we just did there? <laughs> so some of you have multiple Presa Canarios in your household. So you can actually pair off names, right? So you could do like, you know, what we plan on doing when we get our second Presa Canario. Um, we go around the presidential theme so instead of commander in chief, it'll probably be commander and chief. Oh, I just gave it away, right? No. Well, anyway, one day we're gonna have chief. Okay. <laughs> uh, chief originally was gonna be another boy, but you know it's my understanding that I guess you know guy presses don't really click that well, but some of them do. It depends on the dynamics of your house. But I don't know if I wanna uh, be a, a press of canary referee all day. Okay, let's get into some boy names. Okay. I'm gonna do a countdown. Let's do this backwards because I wanna save my favorite name. It's our favorite name, right? Is it ours? It's, okay, it's mine. It's mine. I'm owning it. It's my favorite name. So I'm gonna reveal my favorite name at the very end here. But um, but let's start with number five on this list right here. Nimbus. Okay, Nimbus. No, hear me out on this one, okay? So I did see a post online where somebody had, now I, again, I'm about to get controversial here for a second because press of canarios and colors sometimes, you know, people get touchy about this. But I saw a post, uh, and it was actually in the uh, the bully group, there was pit bulls, and there was an all white pit bull. And someone was asking, what should I name this all white pit bull? So everybody had all the common names, you know, Snowy, Storm, Ice. Ah. Frost, you know, all that stuff was coming and that was to be expected, right? And I said, what about, you know, and I started thinking about cloud, but then I said, what is the scientific name for a cloud? And then we started looking up things and Ambie started talking about stuff she learned in school. What's it called, a cumulonimbus? You know, different clouds and I was like, is that one word or two? I looked up nimbus and actually nimbus means a cloud or a glow around a mystical creature or a halo-like glow around the saint. And I thought that was really cool that it had that type of origin and background. So, Nimbus, all right? Next. Brolic. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, Brolic. Brolic is a tough name for a press of canary. I'm telling you right now. Brolic, Brolic, ah, Brolic. Oh, man. I think I saw one named Brolic. Oh, yeah, get out of here, get out of here. Anyway, what else we got? Admiral. 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 
I, okay, so this is another one of those military title type names, uh, ranking. And, uh, and by the way, we'll take time out to salute everybody who is in service. Thank you for your service. We appreciate you. We honor you. And, uh, and that's another good way to honor somebody, you know, who uh, had served, you know, Admiral. I, I love that. And, and you know what? One of my favorite movies was uh, uh, Seabiscuit. Like, I, for some reason, I know it's right in little Azzy's face. That's what everybody says. Seabiscuit, <laughs> really? Man, listen, don't get me started on why I like Seabiscuit, y'all. It's an underdog story like you wouldn't believe. And it's yeah. excellent. That horse was excellent. Anyway, so his competitor that he had to race against in the end, like his, uh, I guess you could say the pinnacle race that he was in, uh, was against a, a big, black, strong, thoroughbred horse named War Admiral. Absolutely, War Admiral. And I always thought that was hard. I'm like, that's hard. Like, So a uh, uh, oppressor canero named Admiral, that would be tough. That would be tough. Okay, and then number one, let's go with this one, okay? The next one I really like is this. Go ahead. Kaiju. 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 Okay? That's a cool name. Let me explain why this name is cool. Some of you guys may already know. So there's a movie out there called Pacific Rim. Okay? Pacific Rim. And Pacific Rim is about monsters, right? These big, huge monsters that were like created for something. I don't know if they were originally supposed to be guardians, but they end up terrorizing the world. Well, they were called collectively, they were called Kaiju. So Kaiju is actually not one monster, it is a collection of monsters. So I think that is just a cool name, Kaiju. So my favorite name of all, you know, besides Commander, I like Commander. But uh, but for a male press of Canario, is actually named after a volcano that pretty much ruined ancient Rome. Vesuvius. <laughs> I love that name. Tell me that's not a hard name for a Presa Canario. That's a hard Vesuvius? Name. Oh my goodness gracious. And guess what, guys? I have yet to see a Presa Canario named Vesuvius. Let us know in the comments, you know, what you think about that name and what one of your favorite names. Yeah, yeah. And look, if you choose that name, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Vesuvius, man. Look, that's just a cool name. I'm sorry. All right, cool. So we also have a couple names we want to shout out. These are oppressive canarios that we've already seen, okay? So either on social media or we've contacted them or whatever the case may be. And by the way, guys, if your oppressive canaro's name is not here, doesn't mean we didn't like your name. Uh, I tried to go back and look at old comments through the videos and, and catch up and because I've dialogued with so many people. But these are just random uh, names that we picked that we thought were really creative and really cool. There's a beautiful oppressive canario out there. I did talk to his owner and shout out to you. But uh, his name is Oso. And Oso, I is, love Oso. Is, is my is uh, Spanish for bear. So, and a lot of the names for Presque Canero, by the way, you can also look into Spanish translations. I think Oso is a cool name. And I tell you what, if you check out Oso the dog. He's beautiful. It, it, it's, it's one beast of a bad dog, okay? His name is Oso, all right? Means bear. All right, next, Bravo. Okay, Bravo, actually. Yeah, Bravo. Uh, there's a puppy that we saw named Bravo. And uh, actually, Bravo is kin to Mr. Gary's new dog that he just added to his program. Her name is Yara. I like Yara. Yeah, I've never heard of That's an incredible name. Shout out to Mr. Gary uh, for the name Yara. Home front Pressa. Home front Pressa. <laughs> Shout out. Um, but Bravo is really cool. And uh, he's online. He's a fawn with black mask. Man. Shout out, Bravo. Um, Okay, we just saw this one and it caught my attention. And then when I looked it up, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. This is a girl dog named Zandra. Zandra. And I was like, Zandra? And I looked it up and it literally means translated and it, it's of Spanish origin, but the meaning of the name is man's protector. Man's protector. I, I thought that was extremely hard for a Presa Canario. All right, what else you got? Kraken. 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 So one of the categories we talked about was monsters, right? And we talked about kaiju. Well, there's a press of canary out there named Kraken. I think that name's all. I think that rounds out the names. And then um, last thing we want to talk about is this. Paired off names. We kind of alluded to it earlier. Yeah, big guy snoring again. All right, so 
You still with us? <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. A snore timeout. A snore timeout. Man, listen. Listen. If you're pressing on this, I mean, he's sleeping good. This that good stuff right here. He probably dreaming. You dreaming? Sweet dreams, man. Oh, oh, oh. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching that video called Picking a Name for Your Press a Canary Puppy. Make sure you tap that like button, smash the subscribe button. Make sure you ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling. Make sure to leave us a comment on this video about what you liked and leave us some comments for future videos you would like to see. And follow Commander on Instagram and Facebook. Bye! Bye. Hey guys, and if you didn't see it on the last video, we really want to get to a thousand subscribers by Commander's birthday on March 20th, okay? So on March 20th, this dog turns one year old, and we've got about 200 subscriptions to go, and we believe we can do it. So we're going to upload videos every day leading up to his birthday. That's going to help with the algorithm. It's also going to help get more content out there to the community. Thank you all for supporting us. We greatly appreciate you, and let's go get this goal. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Presidential Commander channel. I'm Darren. I'm Leah. I'm Ambrielle. And I'm Azariah. And that is Commander, the star of the show. Commander? <laughs> Commander. We're, we're filming, Commander. Buddy. Buddy, you sleep? You sleep? We're filming. We're filming, man. Everybody wants to see you, man. You can at least, like, look at the camera. All right, all right, he's chilling. He's tired. Man, we told y'all, we gonna drop seven in a row.